But first at seven, youth advocates in Aurora reacting to the city's latest homicide. That victim, a 14-year-old girl. She died last night after someone fired shots at a nearby park. Channel 2's Aaliyah Sims went back out to the scene today and has the latest. Well, this investigation is still in its early phases. What I can tell you is two other teens of 15 and another 14-year-old were injured while attending a party at Highland Hollows Park. People I spoke to in a nearby neighborhood today say the violence is continuing to get worse and the victims are sadly getting younger. What was supposed to be a fun night here at Highland Hollows Park on South Uravan Street in Aurora turned deadly. But when we came around the corner, it was like a group of 100 girls. I mean, girls, nothing but girls. And, the, and one thing about that is the girls are starting to act like the young men. They're violent. They got access to weapons. Ronald Smith, the violence interruption specialist, got multiple calls around 915 Saturday night from teens who attended a party here. I guess a fight that broke out. One of the girls supposedly pulled out some brass knuckles and, uh, you know, the, the guys, the boyfriends get into it and then it turns into gunplay. Investigators were still on scene around 7 Sunday morning. They said a 14-year-old girl died in the shooting. Two others, another 14-year-old and a 15-year-old, were also injured. We got to curb the violence with the youngsters. We got to let them know that it's a better way to live. You know, and that starts with the parents. All the youth, the people that's involved in their life that's grown, they got to start giving more positivity instead of living off of what they went through. Paul Besterman comes to this park four to five times a week to play pickleball. He wasn't aware of the shooting. Kind of shocking, I guess, is like the biggest thing um, because you don't think about things like that happening in places that you are constantly. You see families here. We've had barbecues here. Smith says the youth needs more outlets like their Struggle of Love Foundation. And we just try to teach our youngsters that, hey, life is worth living. It's not all about being mad and uh, negative and violent. So we got to make a change. We got to change the mind frame of the youngsters. Detectives are urging anyone with information, especially video of the party and the shooting, to give Metro Denver Crime Stoppers a call. In studio, Aaliyah Sims, 2 Prime News. All right, Aaliyah, thank you.